At Corn Husker Auto Center, bragging is not our style, but that doesn't mean our customers can't. Great people, easy transaction, went out of their way to help. Thank you. Amazing place to buy a vehicle. Great staff all around. I would recommend Corn Husker Auto to anyone. Time out. Welcome back to a very action-packed episode of Time Out. We're going to kind of go chronologically. A lot of big games last week, so we're going to start off with Thursday night. Wayne started the season 0-4, so naturally you would think, okay, they're not exactly the, you know, the type of camp for a big game. But here's the thing, though. The Blue Devils have been nearly perfect since that 0-4 start. They traveled to Norfolk Catholic on Thursday night. Wayne was nursing his slim 10-8 lead. Next thing you knew, they were up 20 to eight and really kind of never looked back from there. Shea Sweetland with a game high 26 points, sophomore Tanner Walling added 17. Norfolk Catholic, a very balanced offense. Preston Burbach, the only Knight in double figures with 11 points. Wayne is off, off to an eight and five season now since that 0-4 start. One of those victims for Wayne, however, was Laurel Concord College who honestly, outside of the Wayne Holiday Tournament, would be undefeated. The Bears taking on Hardington Cedar Catholic in a big non-conference rivalry game, and this one met the definition of a rivalry. Hardington Cedar Catholic led for just 29 seconds the entire game, but they never let Laurel Concord Coleridge to lead by more than double figures until Ty Irwin had a drive to the bucket at the end of the third quarter. That was part of an 11-3 run, and. The Bears pulled away for a 77-59 victory on Thursday night. Here's Coach Todd Irwin. These kids are just, you know, they're a year older, and, and we've gotten to the point where they, it seems like it shouldn't, you would think it shouldn't take that long, but it takes two, three years for these kids to know that, hey, every contest we go to, we're kind of the team to beat if we do it right. Let's be honest, though. The story of the night, though, on Thursday night was Noah Shutt, the senior with a career-high 40 points, 12 of 15 from the field, 14 of 16 from the free throw line. Here's what the senior had to say after that big game. I can hear the crowd, they were, chant, they were whispering and stuff. I could hear them a little bit, but I knew I just had to go up to free throws like it was any other play of the game. Turning our attention over to Friday night, Norfolk High with a big game against Kearney, a matchup of two teams in the Heartland Athletic Conference. Norfolk High went on a 19 to four run in this game, take a very slim 35-33 advantage. Carney respond with an 11-0 lead, ended up rallying past the Panthers 57-46. Norfolk High is up to 4-7 on the season after a win Saturday night against South Sioux City. This week, the Panthers will host Lincoln North Star and travel to Omaha North on back-to-back -back nights. One of the closest games in the area, quite literally the closest margin you can get, was on Friday night. Randolph traveling to Creighton in a Lewis and Clark Conference battle. Randolph scored the first five points of the game, and that was the biggest lead of the entire night. Each team had a five-point lead once. There were 11 lead changes. Came down to a defensive stop with 3.3 seconds left. Creighton holding on for a 52-51 win. Keaton Backus and Jamison Shavala each had 14 points for Randolph. Creighton led by a stud freshman, though, John Mitchell with the game-high 19 points. Here's Creighton coach Ryan Nilsson. It's definitely nice. It's nice to win any game, but I'll tell you what, they're in our pod, they're in our side of the conference, and so it's nice to get that win without a doubt. Moving over to Saturday night, Wausau hosted its annual post-holiday tournament and a big boys matchup in the championship over there. Third-ranked and undefeated Osmond in its Biggest test of the season against Lutheran High Northeast. The Eagles led 30 to 28 at halftime. Keaton Timmerman ended up with a game high 22 points, however, and the Tigers rallied 62-52 victory. Osmond, guys, start watching out for this team. 10 and 0 now in the season. A special shout out to R.J. Byer of Howells Dodge. The sophomore lost his dad to a rare brain cancer over the last week. His first game back scores 32 points for a career high in a 72-38 victory over Plainview. Few games to watch here in the coming week. Tuesday, Laurel Concord Coleridge travels to Wayne. It's a rematch from the holiday tournament. Wayne with two big games this week. Also Thursday night, Wayne will host North Bend Central. That's before the Blue Devils will start a stretch of four straight road games. Also on Thursday night, Battle Creek travels to Lutheran High Northeast. Couple big games also on Friday. Oakland Craig travels to top ranked and undefeated BRLD and 
Hardington Cedar Catholic hits the road take on Pierce in Mid-State Conference play. Check out the boys' basketball ratings in this week's paper. Like I've said before, you'll only be able to get that in print digital subscription. Trust me, it costs less than a box of donuts you bought for everybody at the office. I'm Nick Benish, and thanks for taking a time out with us.